Today, I will be talking about drama and what drama is, and we are also going to be practicing. First, I'm going to be explaining what drama is. Drama is basically a story, but instead of being read, it is acted out. There are many examples of drama in our daily lives. When you watch a TV show or when you watch a movie, those are a type of drama. Also, you might have done a play at your school. Plays are also a type of drama. Next, I'll be explaining the structure in drama and the different types. The structure in drama is really important for you to know them because if you know them, then you will be able to read a drama script easily. In the structure of drama, there are the list of characters, acts and scenes, character tags, and stage directions. Now I'll be explaining what a list of character is. The list of character includes the name of each character, and it also sometimes includes description of each character. Over here is an example. The play is called The Lion King, and in this character list, you can see that there are many characters. To figure out who each character is, we can look at the description to the right of the character name. For example, we can see Simba is a small lion soon to be king. Now let's take a look at acts and scenes. An act is a long section in a play, and an act is made up of multiple scenes. A scene is a short section in a play, and a scene usually occurs at a certain time and place. So if a play does not have a certain time and place, it will most likely not have a scene. Now we can compare and contrast acts and scenes. An act is longer than a scene, and a scene is short. Next, let's take a look at character tags. Char character tags are placed before a line of dialogue. And character tags help the reader know who is talking. Here is a small example. In this example, you can see two lines of dialogue. To figure out who reads each line, of dialogue, we can look to the front of the line of dialogue, and we can see that Mickey Mouse reads the first line, and Minnie Mouse reads the second line of dialogue. Here, Mickey Mouse will read, Hi Minnie, how are you doing? And Minnie Mouse will read, Fine, I guess, my flowers dried up. Last, I'll be explaining what stage directions are. Stage directions are instructions in a play telling the movement, feeling, and expression of the character. This is the same small example. And in this example, we can see that is, there is something in between the character tag and line of dialogue. In between the character tag and the line of dialogue, there is a word. This word is the stage direction. Stage directions are usually put in parentheses or brackets to mark that they are stage directions. Here, Mickey Mouse will follow the stage direction and instead of saying happy, he will act happy out. And when reading the line of dialogue, Hi Minnie, how are you doing? Mickey Mouse will 
sound really happy and excited. And Minnie Mouse, on the other hand, when reading fine, I guess, my flowers dried up, she will want to sound really sad. A really important thing you want to remember is when you see a stage direction, instead of reading the stage direction out loud, you want to act the stage direction out. So be very careful when you see a stage direction. Now I want to talk about how to read a drama script. When reading a drama script, you want to know the different structure in drama. This will help you to read faster and to help it be easier for you to read. And also, you want to know when to read and when to do the action. So this is the same small example. And here, we, you want to remember to act happy and sad out because these are the stage directions. Now, I will be acting this little play out and I want you to pay attention when I act it out and pay attention when I act happy and sad out. I'm going to be playing Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Hi, Minnie, how are you doing? Fine, I guess, my flowers dried up. As you can see, there is a big difference when Mickey Mouse says, hi, Minnie, how are you doing? And when Minnie Mouse says, fine, I guess, my flowers dried up. When acting out a drama script or play, you want to try to act it out for the audience to hear the difference. Now I will act it out again. Hi, Minnie, how are you doing? Fine, I guess, my flowers dried up. This way, the audience can hear the difference and know what is happening in the play. Now I'd like to introduce some famous playwrights and drama scripts. Uh, Angelina, can you mute yourself? Thank you. So first I'm going to explain, um, uh, first I'm going to talk about one of the most famous playwrights. His name is William Shakespeare, and I'm sure some of you know who that is. He is really famous for his plays and also for his sonnets. He is an English playwright, poet, and actor, and he is known as the greatest writer in the English language. Also, he was born in the United Kingdom. He wrote many plays, and most of them were tragedies. Tragedies were sad things and events that happened. Some of his famous plays include Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. These are both tragedies. Next, I'll be talking about Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller is not as famous as William Shakespeare, but still a pretty famous playwright. He is an American playwright, and he was born in New York. He wrote The Crucible and The Death of a Salesman. These two are both also tragedies. Last, I would like to talk about Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson wrote more, more comedies than tragedies. Comedies are funny plays with a happy ending. He wrote Valpone and the Alchemist. Now I would like to introduce some fun facts. Did you know that William Shakespeare was thought to have written 37 plays in his lifetime? He wrote a lot of plays and besides plays, 
He also wrote more than 104 sonnets, which are a small poem. Also, in the past, female roles were played by men. This means that there were female characters in a play, but instead of females playing the female parts in the play, there would be men playing them. Drama competitions began in Greece. A long time ago, there were drama competitions in Greece, and people there would compete and see who was best at, at acting and best at performing. Also, ancient Greek audience stamped their feet rather than clapping hands to applaud. So a long time ago, ancient Greek audience stamped their feet than clapping their hands. Nowadays, we clap our hands to applaud and to show respect for someone who is performing. Ancient Greeks stamped their feet to show their respect and to applaud for the performers. Another really fun fact is World Theater Day has been held on March 27th every year since 1962. So that's about a month from today, March 27th. And if you remember this, on March 27th, try to celebrate World Theater Day. So that is all. And we will be practicing our plays now. But before we practice, I want to make sure everyone understands everything. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask. So I will wait for a little while. Yes, Richard? Why is there World Theater Day? Well, there's World Theater Day because it is used to celebrate, celebrate plays and famous playwrights. And playwrights are people who write drama scripts. And also every day, I'm not sure if you know this, but every day is a weird and wacky holiday and World Theater Day might just be one of them. Does anyone else have any other questions? Feel free to ask. Okay, by the way, Emanuela, I received your message, so you also want to be dog, right? So on my list, you already am dog, so don't worry. Since everyone does not have any questions right now, we will be moving on. We will be moving on to practice. If time permits, we will be practicing three plays. So the first one is The Three Little Pigs. This is the Three Little Pigs play script. And as you can see, there is a short and brief character list. This character list has some characters that we will see in the Three Little Pigs play script. So first I want to make sure who is who. So when I say your name and say who you are, just nod your head or give a thumbs up to tell me that you are this person and you will be acting out this person. So narrator of the Three Little Pigs is Richard. Okay, good. And Pig two from Three Little Pigs is Matthew. Okay, good. 
And pick three is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, am I correct? Okay, good. And mother pick is Angelina. Okay. And last wolf from the three little pigs is Irina. Okay, good. So I am correct. And pig one, nobody chose. So does anyone want to volunteer for pig one? Mm -hmm. Emanuela, you want to be pick one? Okay, so you will be pick one. So now we will start. The first scene is at the pig's home. And you can start whenever you want, narrator. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. I want, I want to see the bigger world. Let's leave home and build our houses. Yes, a very strong house. That's a good idea, my children. Go and see the world. So the three little pigs left their home. Watch, watch out for the big bad wolf. Uh, so first little pig, pig one, is Emanuela. I can't really hear you, so can you speak louder? I got you. Okay, so second little pig, you can continue now. Got it, Mom. Got it. So now is all three little pigs together, so they will say this together. Goodbye, Mom. So, Emmanuel, your pig three and pig one. So, you will read Goodbye, Mom, with Matthew, who is pig two. Second little pig. Okay. So, Emmanuel and Matthew, you are the, you two are the three little pigs. So you two will read Goodbye, Mom, together. So. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Mom. Okay, good. And now Mother Pig, Angelina. Goodbye, dear children. Very good. So moving on, this is scene two. Richard, you are a narrator. We can start. The pigs walked and walked. Finally, they found a nice place to live. Yes. A great idea. This is a this is a lovely place. I am going to build a house of straw. They are light and easy to find in the field. Well, I am going to build a house of sticks. They are stronger than straw and easy to find in the forest. I think I will build my house of bricks. They are stronger than straw and sticks. Bricks? Bricks? Yes, I want to build a strong house. But bricks are heavy. I know, but I want to build a strong house. Narrator. Richard, you are a narrator? Mm, so the three little pigs began to build their houses. I finished my house of straw. I 
finish my house of sticks too. Let's ask our brother if he needs any help. Brother, would you like us to help you? No, thank you. I can build my house by myself. The third little pig kept building a house for a while. The big bad wolf can't get me. We are not afraid of the wolf. One day, the big bad wolf crept up to the house of straw. Wolf, this is I. Let me in, little pig. Let me in. Then I'll puff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he puffed and he so he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. <laughs> Uh, Emanuela, so I couldn't hear you. Maybe this might be a problem with your microphone, but try to lower your voice down and maybe we can hear. So I still can't hear. We'll try next time then. Don't worry. So narrator, you can continue on. The first little pig ran to the second little pig's house. Narrator? Uh, the big bad wolf crept up to the house of six. Wolf? Let me in, little pig, let me in! But the hairs of my chinny chin chin. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Arena? No, 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 no. Not Arena? Oh. <sighs> so first and second little pig. We'll read this, but Emanuela left, so I don't know if she's coming back. But for now, does anyone want to volunteer to be the third little pig? Uh, the first little pig? Richard? Okay, so you and Matthew will read this together. Oh, my. Let's run to our brother's house. The first and second little pigs ran to the third little pig's house and knocked on the door. In. Us in. What's the matter with you? The big bad wolf is chasing us. Oh my. Come on in, hurry up. Wait, I'm not supposed to. Oh, yeah. We are in danger. The wolf is going to eat us all up. Don't so, worry. Richard, you can stop now. Emmanuel came back. Emmanuel came back. So, Emmanuel, you can read the third. Um, so, the third little pig. Yeah, first little pig. Okay. Then the wolf crept up to the house of bricks. Don't worry, let me in, little pig. Let me in. Not by, not by the hairs on my chin chin chin. Irina. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. 
So he huffed and he puffed. So he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed and he puffed. <laughs> but he can't blow the house of bricks in. What's wrong? A man, you are. Irina. And I will climb onto the roof. I'm coming to get you. The third little pig quickly put a pot of boiling water underneath the chimney. The wool fell down right into the pot. My now was so weak. Ouch! All right! I was so weak. Matthew, your second little pig. Matthew. Matthew, your second little pig. Please read My House of Sticks was weak too. Okay. My House of Sticks was weak too. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving us. Your House of Your House of Bricks is the strongest. Now we can all live together in my strong house of bricks. The three little pigs lived happily ever after in the house of bricks. The end. Good job, everyone. Everyone who performed in this play did really great. And I like how the wolf, the person playing the wolf, Irina, I liked how you added the feelings. Keep on doing that. And Emanuela, Matthew, and Richard, you also did really well. Richard, you did really well for doing the narrator. Yeah. Moving on, we will be doing the second play, which is the gingerbread boy. So in this play, there's also a list of characters, a character list, and there's the narrator, old woman, old man, cow, pig, horse, dog, fox, and gingerbread boy. Wonderful. So, yes. So, for this one, the narrator is Richard. Old woman is Irina. The pig is Matthew. The horse is Matthew. The dog is going to be Emanuela. The fox is Angelina, and the gingerbread, and no one's the gingerbread boy right now. So, am I correct, everyone? I can be the gingerbread man boy. Okay. So, Matthew will be the gingerbread boy. And so, I'll check again. So, make sure to nod or give a thumbs up when I say your name and just... Tell me if I'm correct. Richard, you're the narrator for the gingerbread boy. Yeah. Old woman is Irina. Good, okay. Irina, you're the old woman? Okay. And the pig is Matthew. The cow is Matthew. I mean, the horse is Matthew. The dog is Emanu Emanuela. Gorgeous. Okay. The fox is Angelina. Okay, so in this play, we are. So in this play, no one's playing old man, cow, or gingerbread boy. I mean, Math so Matthew chose gingerbread boy. Also, does anyone want to be old man or cow? Mm. Manuela, yeah. who do you want to be? Uh and the cow? I, I want to be the So cow. other people also want to, so just choose one. I'm be the old man. 
Okay, you'll be the old man. So does anyone want to be the cow? Okay, um, Ted, you can be the cow. So everyone knows what they're going to be playing, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's begin. Once upon a time, there was an old man, old man who lived in an old house. But they were not happy because they didn't have any children. One day, the woman decided to make a boy out of gingerbread. I'm going to make a gingerbread boy. Who the deep? Sorry. Yeah, I love gingerbread. Then the old woman put the gingerbread boy into the oven. After a few minutes, she said, The gingerbread boy is done. Marriage. But as soon as she opened the oven's door, the gingerbread boy jumped and went straight out the door and down the street. Come on, let's go after him. He can't escape from us. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread boy. The gingerbread boy ran on and on until he saw a cow. Stop, gingerbread boy. I want to eat you. I run away from the old man, woman, and an old man, and I can run away from you too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy. And the and the cow couldn't catch him. The gingerbread boy ran on and on until he saw a horse. Who's you? You're not home. good enough to eat. I ran away from an old woman, an old man, and a cow. And I can. And I can. Away from you, too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread. Bah! And the horse couldn't catch him. And the gingerbread boy ran and ran until he saw a pig. Uh, come back, little man. You look tasty. I've run away from an old woman, an old man, a cow, and a horse. And I can away from you, too. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy. And the pig couldn't keep up with the gingerbread boy. So the gingerbread boy ran until he came to a dog. Gingerbread. Oh. Huh. Is it after dog? Yes. Yeah, one line. I've run away from an old woman, an old man, a cow, a horse, and a pig. And I can away from you too. I can't run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy. Um, the gingerbread boy ran on and on until he saw a fox. By this time, the gingerbread boy was sure that nobody could catch him. I've run away from an old woman, an old man, and a cow, mm -hmm. and a horse. Mm -hmm. and I can run away from you too. Run, run as fast as you can. You mm -hmm. can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread boy. Fox. What do you think I can't? No, a reaper! 
jump on my tail and I will take you across. The gingerbread boy jumped on the fox's tail. The fox swam into the river. Gingerbread boy, you better get on my back or you get what? The fox swam deeper. Wow. My back is tired. Gingerbread boy, you better get on my nose. But as soon as the fox reached the shore, the fox threw back his head and gobbled him up. Mmm, tasty. Good job, everyone. You all did a really fantastic job the second time. I really like how the old man, Emanuela, you sounded like an old man. You changed your voice a little. That is really good. Yeah. And also, I... oh, kids, thanks for tuning in. Hey, get your old books out. Let's read uh, together. Let's start let's run. Run. Oh, on the count. Okay. So, and Angelina, I liked how you acted out the fox, and I like how you sounded really sly and tricky to the gingerbread boy. So overall, everyone did great. The next one is Cinderella, and this one will be a little challenging because instead of animals and, and fantasy things, it will be real people in this play. So. I will be checking who is who, so just give me a thumbs up or a nod, just to tell me that I am correct. So the narrator for Cinderella is Ted. Yes. Okay. Good. Thanks. And the stepsister, too, is Irina. Okay, thanks. Guest one is Angelina. Okay. And Prince is Matthew. I am Prince. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And we have some parts which nobody picked. So if you like to volunteer, please raise your hand. Cinderella, the main character, no one chose. There's stepsister one, who no one chose. And there's guest two. Yes, Ted, who do you want to be? I want to be the stepsister one. Okay, so you will be stepsister one. And so, Richard, who do you want to be? Yes, two. Yes, two. Okay. And Cinderella. Irina, you will be Cinderella? Okay. So everything is good. Anybody have any questions about who they are? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So we will be starting this play. So these are the characters. This is a um, character list. This is also a short and brief one. It has the character names, but no description. So you can begin narrator. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl named Cinderella. She had two ugly stepsisters who are very cruel to her. Did you clean the kitchen? Yes, I did. Can I just refer to yes, I did. Step sister two is Irina. So, did you polish my shoes? Yes, I did. Did you iron my clothes? Yes, I did. Irina, you are also stepsister too. And did you make breakfast? Yes, breakfast. 
is ready. The evil stepsisters made Cinderella to do all the hard work. Stepsisters, a letter from the royal palace has arrived for you. Give it to me. I want to open it. No, I want to open it. Look, we are all we are invited to the prince ball, the ball at the, the royal palace. Okay, this part you guys are supposed to read together, and I wish I could go to. Ed. Ed? I, the night of the pool arrived. Ha ha, we are going to have a great time at the pool. Have a great night working, Cinderella. After the evil stepsisters had left, Suddenly, a fairy appeared. Cinderella? Nina? Oh my, who are you? So, I forgot about the fairy godmother. Does anyone want to be the fairy godmother? Okay, Emanuela, you will be the fairy godmother. Fairy Godmother, beautiful Cinderella, I am here to help you go to the ball tonight. Narrator. The Fairy Godmother waved her magic wand. Cinderella's rack turned into a beautiful dress. Wow, it's so beautiful. On her feet were Sparkling glass slippers. Oh, I love them. The fairy godmother turned a pumpkin into amazing coach and some mice into horses. What a lovely coach and handsome horses. You are ready now, my dear. Have fun tonight, but be back by midnight or else. Okay, fairy godmother, thank you. Narrator. At the ball, everyone wondered who the beautiful princess was. Who is that beautiful princess? I've never seen a beautiful woman in my life. Oh no, the prince is going to dance with her. This is not fair. He was meant to dance with me. Prince? Would you like to dance with me? Oh yes, your highness. The prince danced every dance with her. Suddenly, the clock began to strike twelve. I must go. Thank you for the dance. Narrator. Prince. I mean, Prince. <clears throat> Please so stay. What is your name? Cinderella did not answer and ran back to the coach, but she lost one of her glass strippers on the way. Then the coach and horses disappeared. Cinderella's beautiful dress turned back to rags. Oh no, everything's gone. My beautiful dress and my sparkly slippers. Where are they? Was it a dream? The next day, the prince set off to find Cinderella again. I want every girl in the kingdom to try on this lost glass slipper. I must find my princess. 
but the glass slippers did not fit anyone. The prince then arrived at St. Rilla's house. Good morning, prince. I'm so happy that you found my slipper. It is my slipper. I am the prince that you are looking for. The ugly sisters tried to fit into the slipper. Let me try first. No, your feet are much too big. Give it to me. The feet were much too big. Then the prince saw the Cinderella. But just go try. But that's only Cinderella. She didn't go to the ball. The slipper won't fit her. Cinderella sat down and tried on the slipper. It fits! It fits. It fits. It fits. You are the one I've been looking for. What is your name? My name is Cinderella. The prince had found his princess and they lived happily ever after. <clears throat> Everyone <clears throat> Everyone did really good. I really liked how the narrator had a narrator voice and sounded like he was telling a story. That is how the narrator is supposed to be. And I liked <clears throat> how the fairy godmother sounded really magical. And overall, everyone did really good. And that is it. So now if you have any more questions, you can ask.